Hello, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> what the hell? Welcome back to our loop hero. We are going to, of course, go on another expedition. What do we want to do with our deck? Is there anything we want to change here? Uh, I will say I very much enjoy the Blood Grove idea, so therefore we should definitely keep the Blood Grove and the Grove. I kind of want to see what the Village and uh, Vampire Mansion combo does. So truthfully, I think that we're going to keep what we have right here. Uh, the only question would be, like, do we want to remove a thing entirely? We could remove... I... I don't know what we would remove, to be honest. Like, this stuff is all pretty darn useful. Like, I guess I would remove the spider cocoon to make it more likely that we get the other stuff. But even the spider cocoon, I feel like it has its own value. Uh, so let's pop on in. And hopefully we uh, we get a victory today. We will be, uh, we'll be a spooky, greedy boy uh, if we can. Worst comes to worst, we get bodied quickly and we will just do yet another run. All right. So I will say that the uh, like the lantern and crystal kind of thing did seem to work pretty well. So in the event of us doing that, we would put what? The, the crystal thing here. Oh, God. No, we put the crystal thing here. Mountain. Oh, jeez. I totally forgot how to how to do it correctly. So we put the we put the mountain if we put the mountain here. And we put, bup, 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 and we put the uh, the little statue here. That would not be right. We would want it. Holy moly! I'm, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> I got it all, uh, I got it all mixed up, turned upside down. Uh, but we got the the meadow as well. I mean, we'll we'll just put down that stuff in a moment. We don't really need to care on the first loop, really. Uh, about those specific ones. So, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm turned upside down by this l layout here for some reason. Put it, if we put it right here, or wait, if we put it right, this would be meadow, meadow, meadow around this. Should be wrong. We want meadow, meadow, meadow right here. So if that's the case, then we put the mountain here. Gotcha. All right. We good. We figured it out. We figured it out. And we save our meadow until we get the uh, the proper, what is it? The, uh, the, the treasury. Until we get the treasury, at the very least, we will save our meadow. We will be putting down these rocks like crazy, though, of course. What do we got? Magic damage? I don't know. How much do we have to care about our items right away, really? Getting quite a bit of meadows, though. So I'm excited to get that thing that we, we want, because otherwise we're just going to be sitting with a whole bunch of uh, extra nonsense. Extra, extra nonsense. What do you got for me? More meadows! Alright. I Honestly, I would consider that to be a bad loop, because we didn't get anything to upgrade our base uh, monsters that we're going to be fighting here. We're obviously close to getting, like, harpies showing up, I guess. There we go. We can take a vampire mansion. Let's take a vampire mansion right here. Yeah. And then we'll have the village right here so that uh, we have the road lantern. We'll be stopping the, uh, not the bandits, but the spiders. This is actually a really good spot, because I, I do like having spiders on a spot where they can go south, north, or west. Splits them up nice and clean. Also, it takes up one of those spots that would otherwise get converted when the uh, the lich shows up. So, that's such an interesting mechanic. Because normally, yeah, it makes sense. You don't really want to build around your base. You're losing out on a lot of potential value. Defense and vampirism sounds good to me. Mountain sounds good to me. We'll put it up there because this is going to be Meadows. We're doing okay, though. Doing AOA okay. Uh, magic damage, damage to all attack speed. Sure. We'll take that. Not getting attached to anything, though. I would love to get a village so we could try and get that triple loop 
thing right away. I don't know if we can get it from these guys. It'd be awesome if we could. Another road lantern? We'll put it there so we don't have too many spiders here, so we don't get the have to fight four potentially. Uh, but more importantly, we will then, yeah, I was going to say, we will then use it to use a little bit of a Grove Blood Grove combo, wombo combo. You know what? Yeah. There we go. That should be actually be pretty darn decent, I would think. We'll fight some spooky boys. For certain, for certain. Uh, rocks on the bottom. Because, yeah, this this is going to be Meadows. At some point, we are going to just start placing stuff if we don't get the, uh, the correct combination of things that we need to make that happen. Because otherwise, these are eventually... Yeah, these are... We're getting to the point where that's going to just get, uh, get garboed. Yeah, no vampires. Logical. Makes sense. All right. Come on. Give me what we want. I... It's... What I want is not a rock, but hey, you know what? We are at least going to get some harpies showing up now, which should help us out. Chrono crystal. Hold on. Can I put down the chrono crystal without messing things up? Yes. So we can put this here. It just makes it angry. Oh, I just realized we have the blood grove on the uh, the the base. That's awesome. That should theoretically mean that the lich gets devoured at fifteen percent as well. Finally. Oh, and it's right before the loop too. That should be good. Oh, beans. Let's ditch that. I don't, I don't want to fight all those goblins down there. Even if it is by the Blood Grove. All right, we're definitely pushing pushing the limits a little bit more here, which I think is going to be good for us. So there's a bandit camp now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's not good. I think we're going to want to oblivion the bandit camp. Or maybe we'll oblivion the uh, the vampires now that we got what we needed out of them. All right. Oh god, I think we just start putting down some meadows. I don't want them to go to waste, you know. I mean, we want to be in pain, you know? That's the thing. We are we are in relative pain. The thing is, that is good-ish. Boy, we are just not drawing the card we really want to draw, though. Okay. I like, I like that. I like that fine. That should give us an upgrade to that, too. I don't know. Just get a big old super heal up there. If that's the case, though, we probably should have put it after this. Ah, whatever. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. So we are utilizing our potion, which is finally, finally. Oh God, that's huge. That's huge. Oh, oh mama. It's massive. Battlefield.
We'll put that there with the intent of putting another battlefield above it to the north there. I, I know we're in danger, but like, the thing is, this is all fine, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, hold on. Do the same thing, but up here now. Okay, so we get healed for a very small amount. Ah, uh, we got a quest, but it's that guy. That's not great. We genuinely are... We're in danger. And I know that... I know that I deserve it. Okay, there's another one of those. We deserve this. I'm trying to be, uh... I'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive with our placement early. Oh my god, about time. Try to be aggressive with our placement early. See if I can actually get a little bit stronger quicker. Even if it means we are obviously like a very dangerous individual at the moment. Do you know what? Get our quest. This is spooky. Oh, why did you have to make the bandit so much stronger? Oh, this is bad. We might actually, like... I don't know that we're going to die in this fight, but we're probably going to die right after. I need an oblivion. Quest done. Darn right. Not the equipment we needed. God, I'm... I'm oh, I'm stretching it. Take that. I'll take the temporary penalty. Oh, there's a harpy. The harpy is the quest. Oh, no. <laughs> too many villages. Too quick, I think. These meadows. That could be good. Okay. It might. Oh, it's only the max health. It's not the current health. Okay. Well, we're uh, we're we're pretty screwed if I'm gonna be honest, because all the equipment we're getting is sort of for the same uh, same category, which is less than ideal, obviously. Okay. Oh, I can't believe we're dead. Oh, wait. Can't believe we're dead already. The fact that we got that harpy as our elite here is really tough. Yeah, this is that's not surprising at all. Uh we got, like, that just did not go, that did not go clean. That just, there's nothing else to that. That was very, it just was not clean in any way, and I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm ready to just start back up again, get it, get back out there. Like, we, the, our first loop, we didn't get any monsters to put down to, to help us get stronger, which is really, really rough. Uh, and then the, the placement of the villages. We need to be a little bit more careful because the fact that we got those bandits and we did not have any way to purge them immediately, like when we didn't have any way to handle our stuff was really rough. Obviously, we should have... Um... Okay, well, hold on. So, bip, bip, bip. one, two, three. I do like that setup. I think that setup makes sense. I don't think that there's... I don't think there's anything functionally wrong with that concept up there. I think it was just a, uh, a rough luck moment. I do want to do the Vampire Mansion into Village combo again, but I will definitely not be putting them right by each other again. Because that was what was rough. Grove? Okay, this is good. That's a good get. I like the grove being at home because then we can have the blood roots back there. 
and it takes up two of the splot splotches spots that the uh, lich would take over. So that's good indeed. Okay. Just fine, just fine. I would say that was a better first loop there. Not by a ton, but like I, I like where this is I like where this could be heading. Another grove. Interesting. Ah, I put this one too close. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Same deal there. I liked that uh, that theoretical idea there. I think that that was a that was a good plan. I think there was a lot of good plans, and just some uh, some rough RNG and a couple a little bit slow movements on the uh, on that upgrade. Not that it mattered that much, I don't think. Truly. I think we do want to save our meadows, but we don't want to save them for too long. We'll go for it. Don't want to save him for too long, though. Hey, thank you. That's good. That's the good stuff. Oh, we got the blood grove. Sure. Spider cocoon as well. Is there any reason not to put it here? I don't think so. All right, I would like to get an early village too. I would like—I really do want to see what it, it says. It transforms after three loops into something really useful, and I still have yet to see exactly what that means. Oh my god! You've got to be kidding me, Mr. Wolf! Oh come on with these evades! Okay. Uh, 284. That's a big yes from me. Okay, full HP, full HP, but. Yeah, alright, 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 alright. I'm with it, I'm with it. I want to get a better weapon, please. Oh, come on, mister. Thank you. Oh my god, mister. Thank you very much. Why'd you drop such a good item? It's confusing how good that was. Okay. Still no village, that's okay. I don't know if we're gonna see the upgraded village at this at this rate. Yeah, I don't mind putting down those spiders one bit. Fine. Don't mind that one bit. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger. The game. 10% vampirism. That's a good shield. We take those. We take those. What do we got here? Attack speed and counter. Sure, we take those too. Nice. Nice. All right. Yeah, I, I like this. Uh, this is a much better start than last time. Much better start. I would like to see the village, though. Show me the village. Okay. Because that could double to up to four. Which still beats out three because math. Ooh. Oh, there's no reason not to. Uh, Magic damage, defense vampirism. Gotcha. Is. Okay. Hmm. All right. That's the plan, man. That's the plan. All right. 
I really like the fact that we got it. Did we get it before the loop or no? I don't know if we did. Probably not. Probably not. Another meadow, cool. Another meadow, cool. We're gonna get some gargoyles out in no time. Another mountain, there's our harpy action, good stuff. I think we put down the road lantern by the, uh, nice. By the camp up here. Okay. All right, same thing. Bop, 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 bop. Bop. Okay, we got a goblin camp. It's in a, we did not get too bad of RNG with where it's, oh, oh wow. Uh, where it's placed, though. So, that's fine. Like, if we're gonna get that, it's it's in a fine enough spot. I will hopefully be able to oblivion it, though. I do think I'd prefer to not have it. God, this run is going so much better, it's not even funny. Okay, so should we we should put down another uh, another village. This is okay. That's all right. There's not going to be a vampire in the bandit fight. Which is really all I truly, truly, truly wanted. Wait. Okay. Good stuff. Oh. Oh. Got another meadow. We're getting, we're getting some good stuff here. This is about to get really, really messy, but we have so many fights coming up, and we should be able to get our uh, our level up by the time we pass the goblins, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how fast it goes. Spiders. Oblivion! What do we... What do we oblivion? The bandits are actually going to get uh, blood-groved, so I feel like that's going to be... Better than dealing with those annoying little jabronis. All right. We're ripping them. All right, here we go. Armor is increased by one after every loop. Every morning, the hero sword is filled with sunlight, causing its next attack to deal two times damage to all. 75% uh, chance to stun the enemy. Let's increase our armor by one every loop. That doesn't... Uh, is our armor the same as defense? Yeah, these guys are... These guys are rough. Oh, they are very rough. Oh, God, they're so rough. Stop it! Okay. It's a little concerning, but I think we'll be okay. Oh... Uh, Okay. Yeah, we're going to be fine. We're certainly fine, but boy, it's not it's not good. Like don't get me wrong, is this worth the upgrade? I think so. Basically, when I'm saying that, I'm not saying like is it worth it to put that item on? It's more like is it better than the resources I would gain? Like is it really that big of a deal? Okay, yeah. Bandit by itself is not a problem. Nice and easy. Okay. We're probably going to have to deal with a, uh, a blood golem at some point soon here. Like, at some point pretty darn soon. Okay. We 
getting there. All right, full HP. Full HP, but I feel like I am pushing it. Like, I don't feel like I'm going easy, you know? I do not feel like we're just going easy. So that's really, really nice. That's, I guess, kind of going easy, I suppose. If I wanted, I could get some, some ghosty boys going. Alright. Ghost slime can't happen. Ooh, road lantern. I mean, they, were they really that bad? I feel like, yeah, I don't know. We'll send it. We can't even Vampire Mansion this one because of where we put it. Unless we Oblivion something. I don't know. Should we Oblivion something? Oh, this is this is gross. The gross little, gross little tussle down here. We should get good equipment, one would think. Take the vampirism over that. Chrono crystals. Okay. Rock. Chrono crystal. Go. Bop. Hey, gargoyle. Hello, buddy. Woo. Gargoyles, like, they, they slap. Getting a fulfilled uh, treasury quickly, I feel like, is a really good, really, really good idea. Down a village. Another meadow. Oh my god, we have so many spiders. I don't even know why I'm putting this up here. It's not that important. Uh, we have another road lantern. What's going to get out of hand? I mean, this is already getting a little out of hand. Sure. Okay. We'll maintain it a little bit. I feel like maybe the road lanterns genuinely could go, though. Like, maybe we don't need to keep those. So this is at the start of each loop. This does the day passing. I don't know. I just don't hate that. Alright. We could totally Vampire Mansion this village down here, too. But... Alright. Come on, Elite. Come on, Elite. You give me good good loot, right? Nice. Blood Grove. There's another. I don't think that they stack. <laughs> I don't think they stack at all, but, like... Sure. Oh, this is so clean. So clean by comparison. Like, we're, we're really, like, we're in a good HP point for it. So we're just getting, like, we're just getting pushed enough, you know? I feel like we could, uh, I feel like we could probably push it a little bit further, though. All right. Oh, this is a mess. They're not that tough of enemies, though, particularly at all. All right. Come on. Come on. What's happening? Are they evading them all? Yeah, they're evading them all. The fight was a little bit less clean than I would have liked, for sure. Another spider cocoon? So we fight all the spiders known to man? God, this is chaos. All the spiders known to man. I really just want to see what this uh, this village turns into. 
We're getting really, really close to our next level up as well. Another rock. Awesome. I feel like we're getting, like... The upgrades are coming pretty slow, though, it feels like. Oh. Honestly? We'll, we'll pause for after this. An Oblivion. Hey, we take those. We also got uh, our level up. Should be paused here. 35% chance to perform a counterattack during an evade. We have zero evade right now. If your HP drops below 30%, your regen is doubled. That seems really good for us. If we are going to, if we get another uh, treasury, we are going to pop off in that regard. If things start to get scary, we're going to just start using our meadows just naturally. Anything to Oblivion. How many loops have we gone through? It's it's level five, so I would think that... You beautiful, beautiful creature. Oh, it's so good! We're, bu we're busted. This is a, this is a win. This is a win. If it's not, I do not understand what the hell a win is in this game. Oh, it was that was evolved. It evolved. We get to see what it is now. Uh, oh man, we are we are just shrekking them. Okay, so hold on. Uh. We don't need them to be fully formed there. Yeah, we'll put this here so that we can actually continue on like this. Start to fulfill that because I don't think that we're going to be around long enough to fulfill these two and fulfill an entire extra one. But one, two, three, four, five. I think we can can, can fulfill five more. Holy. 28% attack. It seems too big. Too big to say no. Alright. Too big to say no. I'll, I'll keep the, vamp for, uh, the vampirism though. Especially if we got such a huge amount more uh, more big boy bucks. Mad though. We got two oblivions. So we don't have to fulfill our uh, our base. I don't want a battlefield where I was gonna battlefield. Duh. I don't want a battlefield where I was gonna battlefield. I would have to oblivion. We could do that, I guess. Ah. Oh, oh, cool. So that makes it so there's only two spaces where that happens. Actually, that's that's pretty good. I'll take that. Okay, so Grove. I don't know. Who I care? Probably shouldn't have put that there, I guess. We're doing just fine for ourselves, though. Max HP down, attack speed up. If we feel like anything was a big mistake, we do have the Oblivion. And there's a very real chance that I made a mistake here. So what even is this? Heals 135 HP upon entering. Gives you a quest with a better reward. Ah. I have concerns for sure. Oh, you lucky little, you lucky little duckling. Okay. I'm just gonna fulfill that now. Hmm. 
Bop, 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 bop. Same, same idea. Same idea there. All right. Uh, we. It's a little extra right there, isn't it? Should we oblivion the bandit camp? Boy, I just really don't know what to do here. Because I'm like, I'm doing just fine. Alright. Pass on those, I think. Bleh. Overload! Okay. Max HP up, damage to all uh, is the same, and attack speed up. Sure, yeah. Oh my god, look at this! This is gonna be terrifying! There's so much garbage over here! Another village. Every two villages. We're gonna spawn the big bad anyway. Oh, that kills everything there. Oh, we can like strategically use that idea for sure in the future. Good stuff. We got two quests and a couple heals there. Alright. Alright. Hello, boss. Oh, God. Okay, so... What's our HP at? It's pretty good. Just gotta... Gotta manage. Gotta, gotta pay attention. Damage to all is a useless stat against the boss. Okay. Alright, we're gonna be fighting him with zero oblivions. I don't know about that. Okay. I mean, we are just absolutely ripping through all of this. Road Lantern. There. You can put it here, though. Yeah, there's not much else to really care about with this. Uh, if we put it here, we get two. If we put it here, we get... If we touch anything else, we get four. Or three. So, so sure. We'll take the three. Road Lantern... That didn't change anything. That's okay. We have one more Oblivion. Don't care about damage to all right now. God, this is... What a, what a big old mess this screen is. I love it. I love it. It's a beautiful disaster. want to make sure that we have good HP by the time we get to the boss. Oh, 
Why can't we put the rocket? Oh, yeah, I guess we did that. Da -da 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 Just trying to put it adjacent to that, I guess. Um... Oblivion. I guess. I just wanted to see if we could ruin it again. <laughs> All right. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. We can hit him again. Yeah, we got him before he even did nothing. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll take it. Mostly for the evasion and stuff. Uh, ba -ba 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 Vampirism, nine. Counter, okay. Defense, two. Evasion, 11. I think we've got it, but I don't know. I really think we've got it. I feel very strong right now. As long as this, like, god wolf don't bot me here. But our vampirism is keeping us alive. I will be confused if we don't get this. We have three we have three HP potions as well. How is it possible? Shut up. You're actually gonna die this time, I think. Oh no. What? Why does he do so much this time? I guess my defense is lower. Okay. This is really, really on track for success. It could go south. But it looks super good. Oh, the plants ate him up. Get wrecked. Nonsense. This is impossible for so many reasons. I don't understand. Now put everything back like it was before. I can't. I've already completed my task. Even the result is not perfect. You're in no position to refuse, you sack of bones. He's already received everything I could gather. I just wanted to see how our crusade against the universe would end. To witness what would come of it, my presence is no longer required. Who is he? I get it, you're connected somehow, right? That's why... He'll find out soon enough. This anomaly will not escape his attention. Now my explanations would be meaningless to you. So spare me your wheezing and just die. If that sack of bones was telling the truth, I have a long journey ahead. I will build my whole world from scratch if I have to, and the skull of that monster will be the first brick in its foundation. Oh, choose a reward. Plus one resurrection charge? What? Resource cap in, this, in the expedition is increased by 50%. 5% chance for a chest to spawn on top of a killed enemy. What? What is a resurrection charge? I mean, is that his... How much HP would we come back with? Is it every time? I don't... Resource cap in the expedition. This seems like a good thing to pick up first, right? Am I wrong? The boss has been defeated, but your journey doesn't have to end. You can retreat to the camp with all your findings, but remember the world will forget all your deeds. It always forgets. So we have not, we did not beat the game. I don't believe. Right? Like, we are not done. We are not done. We were in chapter one. We are in chapter one, it said. Everybody listen, the lich is dead. The curse has been lifted, but. What lich? What curse? I believe you, of course, but I have no idea what you're talking about. 
You don't remember the dead sorcerer, the one for in a fur coat holding the scepter, the one who went da -da 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 -da. all shrouded in uh, star nebulas, floating above the world on his shining wings and eating it piece by piece. Uh, that's strange. Everything looks the same around here. Why? Guess not the only reason for this darkness then. The skeleton had mentioned him. Whoever he is, he must have something to do with the obliteration of the world. It seems that I have no other option but to continue my expeditions. I'm, I'm curious. Ah. Enemies have one, at one to two abilities. Enemy's strength is no longer reduced by 5%. Enemy's strength growth is now 3%, so it's an extra 50% per loop. Uh, bonus resources. We get 40% more resources. Uh, our max amount of resources is no longer 10. It is 20. Class warrior. Additional class stats. They're not different. They're not different. All right. So. Ah, beans. I really wanted to get the, uh, the refuge. We could save up. Smithy lets you start expedition with basic warriors gear. Unlocks the ability to craft tools for the camp. If the supply depot is built, all empty tiles around the farm are transformed into gardens. After an expedition, gives you one ration for every completed loop, but not more than there are garden tiles around the farm. You can build something over the garden. Unlocks the ability to craft food if the supply depot is built. Unlocks the wheat field card. Passing through cemetery on expeditions grants you a piece of information. Can resurrect the hero after an upgrade. Woo. Passing through the cemetery on expeditions. So it must be like a guaranteed permanent location. Otherwise, I'd be a little bit confused by that. So we unlock the smelter. Forget the smithy. I kind of want to go for the farm because it gives us a new card to play with. Something about adjacent tiles. I'll put it up there. Sure. Have you noticed how strangely this oblivion affects our senses? Hunger, for example. You can stop eating for days and you still won't be hungry. This, of course, does not mean that you should stop eating altogether. The farmer promises that he'll be able to grow some stable crops, but it will take some time. It'll be interesting to see what he can grow without sunlight. Uh, so we can't upgrade that. Can't upgrade this. I mean, oh, we're actually pretty close to being able to have upgraded that. Unlocks the town card. Uh, can we build anything else? We can also build the smithy? How many rocks do we have? We have nine rocks. This takes four. How many uh, of those we have? We have an eight. This takes four. So we would probably get those rocks on our next expedition anyways. The annoying thing is I guess we'd be taking the, what I think is food supply, but we might. No, we can't get that yet. Gives you one ration for every completed loop. Small amount of food, 12 rations. 12 rations form a food supply. Okay. One ration for every... All empty tiles are turned into gardens. After expedition, it gives you the garden or the farm. Uh, but Oh, but not more than there are garden tiles. Okay, so we have one, two... One, two, three, four... Five, six, six. So we can get six... Six rations per run per outing basically. So six loops around. All right. Gotcha. Which is not even a full food supply. So that's not that, that not that big. Uh, we'll get the smithy though. So we can build on top of farms apparently. I'm not gonna. By the anvil of the seven seas. It's a small forge. Yo ho. You have no idea. I miss the heat of a furnace and the smell of metal. Look at that jawline look at that wow we'll have some good tools now you can be sure of it lad you'll even be able to use something during those trips of yours quite enthusiastic something tells me you're not a stranger to 
to see seamanship. <laughs> Shiver me hammers. How did you know? It doesn't matter, though. Maybe because your face is shaped like an anchor? How'd you know? It doesn't matter, though. You're right. Don't worry. I'll prove to you that these hands can hold a hammer as good as they can hold a helm in a storm. And for a dozen days in a row, if needed. So... Let's you start the expedition with basic warrior gear. Gotcha. So, we'll figure out some of this stuff in the old future there. Wheat fields can only be placed next to a village. Five, plus five times loop. Five times loop healing in adjacent villages. Spawns a scarecrow every four days. Ooh, kind of neat. Maybe we'll mess with that. Maybe we'll even, uh, maybe we'll take off the blood grove, grove, turn on wheat fields. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But that is going to do it for today. We are going to check out chapter two tomorrow. But that is going to do it. Thank you for watching. Make sure if you enjoy the video to hit the like button. It does not take any time at all. Helps out with the algorithm. A good solid deal. Especially in a sea of other Loop Hero videos. Helps me uh, helps me stand out. It, it genuinely does. And it's really easy to do. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.